In this video, we are going to simplify the difference between ICER net, UGC net, ICER SRF and JRF. And stay till then because I'm also going to talk about that which exam is the right exam for you. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ali Barshad and you are watching Portech Simplified and let's talk about these examinations. There's a lot of confusion going on around these examinations. Uh, they seem similar but there are some little bit, there are some differences and let's talk about the differences and let us find out that which exam is the right one for you. Okay, so first of all, in this video, in this specific video, I'm not going to talk about the net examination of all the domains. Uh, I'm specifically focusing for the food science and technology students. And when I say food science and food technology, uh, the food safety and quality assurance or anything that is connected with food, uh, maybe there is a domain that I am not taking the name of, that is also considered in this video. So majorly the ICR, NET, SRF and GRF that I'm going to talk about in this video is about food technology. And UGC NET is going to be about home science. Now why home science? Because Unfortunately, as of now, as of 2021, because I don't know in the future, uh, they have a separate domain. But as of now, in 2021, there is no domain, there is no branch for food technology or food science under UGC NET. There is home science, which is kind of, uh, because in home science domain, there are two or three units that are of food science and food technology. And that is one aspect, that is one domain that is a little bit connected with food technology. So. Uh, unfortunately, the food science and technology students do not have an option under UGC net to go with food technology. So that's why most of them go with home science. So for ICR net, SRF, GRF, I'm going to focus on food technology. Whereas whenever I say UGC net in this video, I'm going to talk about UGC net home science. All right. So first of all, what is net? So net stands for national eligibility test. National eligibility test or net means that you, if you qualify that examination, you are going to be eligible for a teaching position as an assistant professor or as a lecturer. So if you qualify ICAR net or if you qualify UGC net in home science, then you're going to be eligible for teaching position. Now, what is ICR SRF and what is ICR JRF? So basically SRF stands for Senior Research Fellowship, JRF stands for Junior Research Fellowship. Now ICR, SRF and JRF, these, these exams are basically, uh, they make you eligible for higher studies, okay? If you have done your post-graduation, your MSc from ICAR accredited college, then you are uh, eligible to apply for ICR, SRF examination. And then after you qualify the ICR, uh, SRF examination, that is basically, an eligibility criteria to take admission in PhD again. But now if you have qualified the ICR SRF examination from a state agriculture university or any university which is ICAR accredited, then that means you'll be able to uh, do your PhD also from a state agriculture university or a college which is ICAR accredited. So basically SRF and JRF, these are basically the eligibility criteria. These are the examinations that make you eligible to apply for higher studies. Now, uh, let us do a step-by-step -step review and let us see a step-by-step -step what, what is the difference between all these four different examinations. Now, let us talk about the eligibility criteria. So for ICR net examination, you need to have PG, that means postgraduate degree. It could be MSc or it could be MTech. Uh, you need to have MSc or MTech in food technology or food science. If you have completed your master's in food technology, food science, or maybe it is a light domain of food, then you are eligible to apply for ICR net examination in food technology. For UGC net in home science, you need to have, again, you need to have a master's degree, a postgraduate means a master's degree in home science, food technology, or food science. If you have completed that, then you are eligible to apply for UGC net home science. The third one is ICR SRF. For SRF, you need to have your post-graduation, your master's in food technology. Now, again, another important point, if you have done your master's from ICAR accredited college, then only you are eligible to apply for ICR SRF examination. And finally, ICR JRF examination. ICR JRF, the basic requirement is that you need to have a graduation, you need to have BSc in food technology. If you have completed a four-year program, it could be a four-year BSc honors or it could be a BTEC program, 
then you are eligible to apply for ICAR JRF examination. And just in case you are wondering that whether your college is ICAR accredited or whether it is not accredited, then uh, I will drop a link down in the description. You can check it out. Uh, usually, there the list is usually updated every year, and maybe a few colleges are added every year, but still go down in the description check out the link or you can also google icer accredited college of 2021 2022 or maybe you're watching this in the future so maybe these rules are slightly different so again uh, check out the official websites of each one of these examinations now let us talk about the salary or the fellowship for icar net examination you do not get any fellowship you do not get any stipend or anything if you qualify ICAR net examination and you take admission in a PhD, you will not get anything from ICAR. Maybe you will get a stipend or something from the college where you are pursuing a PhD, but from ICAR, you do not get any fellowship. For UGC net, if you qualify UGC, uh, UGC net in home science and then you go for and then you apply for a PhD in any college, you will get rupees 35,000 per month. And for ICAR SRF examination, you get a stipend or a fellowship of rupees. 31,000, it ranges somewhere between 31,000 to rupees 35,000 per month. For ICR JRF, since this is just a graduate, this uh, person has not qualified, this person is not pursuing a PhD, this person is just a graduate, then that person in the masters will be getting rupees 12,800 per month. The next point of difference, what is the frequency of examination? Now this is very simple. Uh, this means that how many times the exam is held whether it is once a year or twice a year so for ICR net uh, ICR net is usually held once a year and not usually it is almost every time uh, has been held once a year okay UGC net however is held twice a year it is held in May and November we are also going to talk about the dates in a bit ICR SRF is again held once a year and same goes for GRF it is held once a year now when are these exams held and when the application process starts so that is going to vary but till 2019 we have observed that icr net was held during the month of january or february the application process usually starts in november or december uh, but having said that take this slide take the exam dates from this video with a grain of salt because of the covid situation the examination dates and the application process has been messed up in the 2020 and 2021 Usually in, uh, usually in the usual case scenarios, the ICR net examination was held in December, January or February and the application process used to start in November or somewhere uh, around October, November. But during 2020 and 2021, that has not been the case. The, uh, I mean, right now it's February and the ICR net examination was usually done and completed by February. But right now in this scenario in 2021, the application process has not even started so again i would recommend to check these websites check the official websites of icar ugc srf and jrf i will also link the websites down in the description because these dates can vary however uh, if you want to get some idea this is a good way to start the icr net examination usually is held in the month of january or february uh, UGC net is held twice a month. I already told you it is held in the month of May and November. The ICR SRF examination and JRF examination is held during the month of April or May. The application processes may usually start uh, one or two months prior to the examination dates. Uh, but having said that, uh, this is not fixed. I mean, when I say that the exam is going to be held or the application process is going to start in April, that doesn't mean the application process is actually going to start in April. There is going to be slight uh, variation and because of the COVID situation, we cannot predict that what is going to be the exact date or the exact month of the application process or the exam date. Having said that, I will definitely do my best to post a story whenever I see our examination on UGC examination or gate examination uh, for that case or CFT examination. Maybe you're looking for, maybe you're looking to uh, apply for CFT examination. I usually post the stories on my Instagram, uh, Food Exemplified. So make sure you are following me over there as well. Now let us talk about the syllabus. For ICER net examination, the syllabus is going to be an in-depth syllabus of food technology. They are going to talk about everything about food technology, okay? Usually they do not ask for numericals. They, I mean, uh, I, have not, I haven't seen any uh, complicated numerical. Mostly it is memory based, but still 
everything that comes under food technology it could be food standards it could be quality assurance it could be uh, food microbiology food products technology all of that will come under the domain of icr net food technology having said that please check the brochure the official brochure of icr net for further reference for the ugc net there are two papers the first paper is a general aptitude paper and the second paper is the subject paper now the subject paper i am assuming if you are a food technologist and you are applying for ugc net examination then you will be applying for home science examination okay then your subject paper is going to be home science examination another important point ugc net examination as of now does not have any negative marking okay so you can attempt as much uh, as much questions as you possibly can i mean obviously if, if there is no negative marking just attempt all of it but yes for icr net srf and grf there is negative marking so keep that in mind for icr srf the syllabus includes food technology dairy technology and dairy microbiology for icr grf again the syllabus is going to be somewhat uh, similar to icr net it again includes food technology syllabus. Now I know that if you are going to prepare for UGC net examination, ICR net, SRF or JRF, you are definitely looking for books that what are the relevant books that you should be studying. So for ICR net examination, apart from the textbooks like Food Science by Norman Potter, Food Facts and Principles by Shukuntala Mane, Dairy Technology uh, by Sukumar De, apart from that, you can definitely check out Objective Food Science by Sanjeev Kumar Sharma sir. Uh, that is a good book to start and that is essentially for practicing MCQs. For UGC net you can check out Arihan's book, you can check out Okar and Truman's book on UGC net home science. For general aptitude you can definitely check out Pearson's book on general aptitude. So I think these books are good to start and these will, good, uh, these will give you a good overview of the examination. For ICR SRF examination. Uh, you can check out Outlines of Daily Technology by Sukumar De and Food Chemistry by Mayer. So uh, SRF examination obviously includes dairy and dairy microbiology. Apart from that, again, for food technology, you will need to uh, refer to basic books like Food Science by Norman Potter, uh, Food Facts and Principles by Mane, and again, Objective Food Science by Sanjeev Sir, because that is going to give you an idea of MCQ. That is going to make you well aware of the examinations because that also includes some past year question papers. For ICR JRF examination, again, Food Science by Norman Potter, uh, Food Facts and Principles by Shakuntala Mane, and again, Objective Food Science by Sanjeev Sir, that is going to be extremely helpful for you. Now, we have talked about some basic differences in these examinations, but which examination is the right examination for you? Okay, so let's say that you have done your graduation and your post-graduation from ICAR accredited college. And now you are looking forward to apply for a PhD position because you want to go into research or maybe you want to go for PhD and then you want to be a professor, an assistant professor or a professor. Then what you need to do, you need to go for ICAR SRF examination. But in case you have not done your uh, post graduation from ICAR accredited college and that could be possible, that is the case for a lot of students, then you don't have to worry at all there is an option for UGC net home science. You can definitely go for UGC net home science or ICR net food technology. Uh, usually the students, the aspirants uh, refer to UGC net home science. Why? Because if you qualify UGC net home science, then you will have a stipend of rupees 35,000. Whereas on the other hand, if you qualify ICR net food technology and take admission for PhD, you will not get stipend or a fellowship from ICAR. So yeah, that's kind of a trade-off if you, I mean, unfortunately that is the case uh, because usually for food science and te uh, technology students, it is it makes much sense to apply for ICR net in food technology and it doesn't make sense to qualify, IC, uh, qualify UGC net home science. But uh, unfortunately there is no stipend or fellowship in ICR net food technology for ICR net. So that is why most of the students, I mean, uh, almost all the aspirants take the uh, route of UGC net home science because if you qualify UGC net home science I already talked about the stipend or the fellowship that you are going to get uh, you are going to get rupees 35,000 per month and obviously I, I have said obviously a lot of times in this video so obviously uh, for any PhD aspirant or any PhD student this stipend or the fellowship plays an important role because uh, essentially you you may be more than 24 25 years of age and now you definitely want to earn 
and I think UGC Net Home Science provides uh, an excellent opportunity to get that scholarship, to get that fellowship and also continue your research, also continue your PhD. Another interesting point for ICR SRF and for ICR GRF uh, candidates who have qualified these examinations, uh, sometimes some research institutes or organizations release vacancies, some contractual vacancies for SRF and GRF candidates who have qualified the examinations. Uh, maybe a professor has got some funding in a research institute and he or she is working to extract a bioactive component or compound from a food. So maybe that uh, project is going to be going to sustain for two years or three years. Then they release vacancy, one or two vacancies for candidates and the people who have qualified SRF GRF or SRF examination, they can apply for these positions. Uh, however, the downside is that uh, you don't usually see these uh, vacancies in a huge number. You won't see that, okay, we are releasing 50 or 100 vacancies for SRF or GRF uh, fellows. That doesn't happen. But yes, this can be an interesting opportunity uh, for the students who have qualified SRF and GRF examination to apply as a research assistant or to apply as a teaching assistant maybe in some colleges. So yeah, I mean, what you need to do is to stay active, stay active on social media platforms, uh, maybe follow some pages, like if you are following my page or maybe uh, join some WhatsApp group, join some Telegram groups, uh, stay active on Facebook groups who are connected with ICER Net, who talk about uh, UGC Net Home Science and all these stuffs. Uh, maybe your senior, maybe your seniors or alumni have appeared for these examinations and they have qualified. So stay in touch with them because they can also guide you that what you need to do and what you don't need to do because that's also very important. All right, so this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts. And again, I would recommend to please check the official websites of ICRNet, UGCNet and all that stuff because sometimes the rules change and the eligibility criteria may also change. Uh, sometimes new colleges will be added to the list who are ICER accredited. So definitely check out the official brochures, official dates, and everything from these websites. In case you are looking for a video on book recommendations for these examinations, like for IC or net examination, I have a separate video for that. Definitely check out that video and check out the books if you want to qualify these examinations. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because uh, it's free, subscribing is free. I'll see you next time, class business.